Hello and welcome to a brand new video on a very important topic of human resource management, which is job analysis. It is a very vast topic we want to cover in one video, but it will become a lengthy video. So we have decided to split it up into two or more videos. First of all, we will look at the definition of job analysis. Job analysis is the procedure of determining and documenting all the relevant information about a specific job, including the duties involved, the knowledge and expertise need to do the job, the responsibilities attached to the job, and the abilities required to perform the job successfully. Please subscribe to our channel for the latest updated videos on important HR topics. We need your valuable feedback and suggestions. Thanks a lot. Job analysis can be divided into two main parts, which are job description and job specification. At first, we will look at the definition of job description and job specification then we will discuss the main elements of both. So, first of all, job description. The definition of job description is writing terms and in writing the duties, functions, responsibilities and demands of a particular job. It throws light on the title and location of the job. Details of the tasks the employee will do, hazards involved, the working conditions, relationships, as well as how he will do the job. Job identification, job summary, relationships, responsibilities or duties. Supervision and working conditions are the main elements of a typical job description. So it was the definition of job description and following are the main elements of job description. First of all, job title. What is the job title? For example, we can say the job for which you are applying. For example, manager HR, marketing manager, etc. The job location. The place where the job is available. For example, Munich, Germany. The third one is job summary. The job summary defines a brief introduction of the job. The sec next one is reporting hierarchy. Reporting hierarchy means that to whom you will be reporting. For example, reporting to regional manager directly. The next one is working conditions. Working conditions of which job are conditions that a person encounters or exposed to during the course of performing the job. Examples could be exposure to dangerous materials or exposure to numerous weather conditions. The next one is risks. Risks mean what are the risks related to your job. For example, person exposed to heat or cold, this could affect his or her health. The last one is machines and equipments. It means which equipments you will be using. For example, IT manager will be using laptop or desktop computers. So these are the main elements of the job description. So the next one is job specification. The definition of job specification is the job specification is simply the expression of the job description in terms of employees qualities. It is a list of human requirements needed to perform a particular job. In other words, it is the minimum acceptable employees characteristics or qualities necessary for the efficient and effective performance of a job. So here are the main components of jobs specification. 
first of all qualification it means required qualification for that specific job for example for hr manager job qualification requirement is mba in hr the next one is experience it means required experience for example experience requirement for recruitment manager job in a job description in three years the next one is training minimum training requirement for a specific job for example for human resource manager job person has completed training or certified human resource professional the next one is skills required skills for a job for example talent management skills interviewing skills the next one is responsibilities major tasks for a job for example employee file management updating recruitment database the last one is emotional characteristics ability to work under pressure should have decision making abilities for example so these are the main components of job specification thank you for watching this video i hope you will like it the next part of the video on purposes of job analysis will be uploaded soon till then bye thanks a lot once again